Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. Things all and. Uh, Today's little uh, discussion, we're going to talk about the blue hour, but also white balance. Because if you get your white balance wrong during the blue hour, your results are not going to be quite right. Gee, I think I'm going to try and pick places where I ain't going to walk up hills. So first off, what is the blue hour? Well, the blue hour is the hour before sunrise and pretty low light as you can see it's still pretty dark but if you're doing obviously any photography where you want to get the blue hour then like today sunrise is at 601 so blue hour is from say five um it's now 10 to 5 in the morning which meant I got up at 4 o'clock this morning <laughs> oh, it ain't even summer yet and uh, when we get to where I need to be we'll go over a few little basics of white balance the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in my It's a little bit blurry, I should have brought me out now. Anyway, um, so white balance. I'll start with a really quick composition here, uh, very quick. And uh, I have took three different shots. Now this is not an auto white balance. I'll explain why I don't use auto white balance when it's in the blue hour in a minute. Um, but this is just to show you how, uh, how the colours look different depending on your white balance setting. And this is pretty much what it's all about, really. Um, <clears throat> so you put on auto white balance, which I haven't done here. These have, I've actually set these. Um, actually, no, I'll tell you the reason why I don't use auto uh, during the blue hour. See, the thing is, is you don't have much light. And this is where you, your cameras can, not all the time, a lot of the modern mirrorless and that, yeah, they're actually pretty good again, it's spot on. However, let's stay away from the auto white balance. And because when you take the shot, you really actually want to try to get it as pretty close to as your eyes see. Because the thing is, how your eyes see and how your camera see it are two different things. I've said this before. So if you're wanting to actually to try to get it as it is, as you're actually seeing it, this is where a little tip that I use is I always set, even though it's, it's clear, as you can see out here, it's clear, look at that here. I set the actual white balance to cloudy and this is around about 600k, which is sort of where you want to be. <clears throat> but if you want to try and get, you know, enhance the blue, then you can drop it down to fluorescent light, which is about 400k. So anywhere between the 400 and, I tend to sort of like say around about the, you know, 5,500, but 6k is more than enough. If you're actually wanting to get a little bit artistic with this shot here, drop it down a bit more, which is 320k. What did I say 320k? I meant 3.2k. 3,200k. I'll get it right in a minute. It's just cold weather. I'm blaming that. <laughs> now, there's a lot of cameras where you can actually set the white balance manually. For me, I think the, you know, the presets that are actually on the back of your camera will suffice. I mean, they are, you know, good enough, but they are better than just using auto white balance. So, yeah, I think my recommendation would be to, um, yeah, don't stick with auto white balance and 
if you're sort of like out and it's a cloudy day, so it's cloudy and so on and so forth, just set it to what it says. You know, if, if that's what you do, then set it to that. And you'll find that your images are a lot better. Now, I know that some people are sort of saying, well, do you know what? It, it doesn't really matter because I can soon set it in, in post anyway. Well, yeah, I know you can, you can change it when you're actually in Lightroom. But the thing is, is get it right in field. This is the whole point of this. Get it right in field and you'll actually notice a difference. You know, even when you do post work, you know, just, just get it right in field. And the reason being for this is, let's just talk a little bit about your camera. So when you take your photo, on the back of your camera, you've got your screen and you'll look at that image. Now, depending on how you set your white balance is gonna depend on the image on the back of your screen. So you're gonna get a better representation. You're gonna see that little bit better where that image is what you want, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because the back of your screen on your camera converts to JPEG. I was having a chat with a couple of, um, couple of other photographers and that they were just, uh, let's just turn that light up a bit because it's a bit, uh, you can't see me ugly mush very well. Um, yeah, just having a chat with a couple of other photographers. It's nice getting out and, you know, chatting with others and, yeah, talk photo stuff. And they're, they're asking about some good places to sort of go and uh, it's important in a couple of directions. And uh, I mean, I was sort of thinking about going down the, uh, it's the, the front here, here myself, but with the, the rain and that we've had, um, I've, I've only got trainers on, I didn't put my boots on. I weren't really going to risk it. <laughs> right, slightly moved. Just before that sunrise, Blue Isle's pretty much gone now, so I thought, you know what, let's go and uh, get another. Yeah, those people on about earlier, they're just actually just below me now. <laughs> Blue Isle's gone, so now it's time to change the white balance again. Obviously, we're getting more light, the light ultra, so the light's changing. And change the white balance. It's not that difficult, so we're um, pretty much on daylight now. We're literally just a couple of minutes away from the sun rising now. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, there's no point in coming out and getting the blue hour if you ain't gonna get the sunrise afterwards. That's just daft. And on this one, we'll put the uh, 10 stop ND filter on. And we've got a, a 25 second exposure. This is really gonna be a bit artistic, but the white balance, I haven't changed. for joining me on this one and I hope you find it useful don't forget thumbs up like subscribe and you're going to see a lot more of me but uh, till the next time thanks for joining me so take care stay safe I'll see you soon